Coming up on tonight's edition of Size Eyes. We've had a very gloomy and cloudy day today. That's kept temperatures right around average. We'll have more details in your forecast coming up. Plus, Sam, Sam Gabrielli will be in with your national forecast. Size starts right now. It's Monday night on ISU TV, broadcasting live from Ames, Iowa. This is Size Eyes on the Skies. Uh, ISU TV's uh, longest beautiful. running television program brings you the weather from around the country to the heart of Iowa. The ISU Meteorology Department team of forecasters keep you ahead of the storm. From Iowa's most trusted weather team, this is Size Eyes on the Skies. And welcome to Size Eyes on the Skies. We're joined by Brandon Libby. Uh, Brandon, how was your Easter weekend? It was good. You know, I didn't go home. I stayed here, and I figured we're going home in a month anyway, so I mm -hmm. might as well stay. But I definitely enjoyed those warm temperatures. We saw temperatures in the 70s uh, for Sunday, I believe. And it was just sunny skies, beautiful. Yeah. How was your, how was your Easter? Um, you it was do? good. It was good. I just went home. I don't live too far away. So I went home for lunch, and then I'm going home next weekend for another family thing. But, yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's sad. Those warm temperatures, they turn into such a gloomy day to day. Yeah. And as we look forward to tomorrow, it's going to look like a lot of the same that we saw today. With We'll be waking up to about 48 degrees with that passing uh, showers. For your noon hour, we'll, look, we'll be looking at mainly the same thing, scattered showers for most of the area, and those temperatures will be right around average, and as we go through 3 p.m., we'll be seeing 55 degrees with still those scattered rain showers, so it's going to be mostly cloudy all day and passing showers every now and then, so should be, and it's looking like to be like that for the rest of the week as well, unfortunately. Yeah, a lot of rain. All right, thank you, Brandon. We'll have more from you later. Meanwhile, Sam is over on the wall with your national forecast. I'll be right back after the break. Your national forecast. Welcome back. Let's head over to Sam now for your national forecast. Welcome back, everybody. I got a little trigger happy there just a moment ago, but uh, let's take a look across the country, what we got going on nationally today. Out in the north, Lisa, start there. Uh, they just had a lot of clouds and uh, rain up towards um, Maine there and to Vermont and New Hampshire, especially on down into Syracuse. They got some showers. New York, pretty cloudy and damp. Uh, 64 in Pittsburgh, and D.C. is the warmer area of the uh, northeast today with a 73 degree reading. Down to the southeast, they had a lot of rain um, out in Atlanta. Uh, they were kept uh, very temperate at 68. A lot, of, a lot of rain there in the Tennessee Valley. Um, down here in Florida, uh, Mi Miami looking at 77 currently, same with Orlando, and New Orleans is also at 77 with cloudy skies. Out, out west here in the southwest, uh, Phoenix uh, 83, a little cooler today than usual. Las Vegas, 72, the clouds hanging, keeping them down a little bit. Santa Monica, beautiful, 61 with the sun, sun out. Around the, or up here in the northwest, uh, Seattle, very, very cloudy skies, um, 48 in Salem. Uh, for 53 in Boise, actually, with a lot of sun. Um, the, the northwest saw a lot of rain and clouds today. In the Midwest here, uh, we had a very wide range of temperatures. We got Pierre up here at 37 degrees. 49 in North Platte, and as you go farther south, temperatures rise, 75 in Hayes, with the sun, uh, 60 in Kansas City, and Chicago at 43 uh, off the lake there. Uh, highs today, 83 in uh, Dallas, that's uh, heat straight through the middle of the country, 62 in Chicago, 55 in New York, 85 down in Miami, very nice, and Billings was the cooler spot today with 38 degrees for the uh, grand total. Clouds and radar, um, we're looking at mainly just um, this, the sunny spot today was along 
the uh, inner the mountains there into Colorado, New Mexico, and into Kansas, the middle part of the country. And then as you were all across the northern part of the sector of the country, they saw a bunch of clouds and rain all the way from western Montana on, on through Minnesota up into uh, Canada there and even on into Maine, just a long band of precip. And then, like I said earlier, the southwest saw this, um, go, uh, this gulf moisture uh, flowing in from Arkansas and stretching on into Tennessee and Kentucky, moving on into the east coast region by tomorrow, I assume. Here's another look at the uh, radar here going on. It started out here in Arkansas and now moved um, closer to the east coast. Watch those warnings today. Um, we're looking at freezing rain advisories up here in Minnesota, um, New Mexico, Colorado, uh, northern part of Texas, Panhandle, Oklahoma, all seeing these red flag warnings, watches and warnings. Um, and then we got uh, some winter weather advisories actually out here in the um, upper terrain areas of the uh, Rocky Mountains. And then uh, we got some flood warnings here in the middle, of the, you know, Ohio River Valley stretching on into the Ozarks and down in Louisiana. Future cast showing, um, so basically we got a lot of moisture here out east and then uh, a, lot of, a lot of snow hip up here popping up in North Dakota, eastern Montana, and that'll stretch uh, into Canada there, northern Minnesota, and then uh, just more moisture hitting the east coast, a lot of clouds and uh, rain out there in the west my, in Wyoming. Highs tomorrow, uh, Minneapolis looking at 48 degrees, uh, Billings out there at 44, San Francisco uh, 64 and Dallas 82, and then New York is looking at a pretty damp and uh, colder day at 45 degrees. Washington, D.C. is our destination city of the week. Um, at the Reagan Air National Airport right next to the downtown, we got 73 degrees tomorrow, uh, 61 Wednesday, and then uh, 61 Thursday, and just clouds and rain on through Saturday. And then Saturday on through Monday, and looking uh, a little bit past Monday, you're going to get some nice, uh, sunny, um, warm weather. So back to you, Zane. All right. Thank Sam, time now for tonight's trivia question. How many F5 and EF5 tornadoes have occurred in Iowa since 1950? Is it A, 3, B, 2, C, 6, or D, 5? Um, we'll have the answer to that in a little bit, but Brandon's here now with your Iowa forecast. Yeah, unfortunately, we're looking at a very wet pattern for the rest of the week. We'll have all your details coming up. Welcome back to Size Eyes on the Skies. We're going to continue to see those pop-up showers move on through for the rest of the night tonight, and it's going to look the same way for most of the week with showers and thunderstorm chances for the rest of the week. And as we move on through the weekend, though, we could see a pretty nice Friday and Saturday, but those rain and snow, or excuse me, not snow, those rain and thunderstorm chances could return for Sunday and into Sunday night. Currently outside the studio, we're looking at 55 degrees with those mostly cloudy skies. That wind is from the east, east northeast at 6 miles an hour, and it has been very humid out there. You could definitely feel the moisture in the air, especially this morning walking out to class. That has kept our temperatures right around average for this time of year. We saw 50 statewide with 58 in Ottumwa and 56 in Waterloo. Very mild, but very uh, right around average for this time of year, so not that bad. The winds are from the east. Uh, kind of a neutral wind, not really bringing in warmth or cold, so just a neutral wind. And as we look for that, as we look at the clouds and radar, there's those, some of those pop-up showers that moved through earlier. At, some of them brought a rumble or two to Ames here, but it's looking uh, pretty cloudy and even got some clearing down to the south. We could see those pop-up showers continue to move on through throughout the night tonight. And as we look through the bigger picture, we see that uh, rain and snow mix that Sam was talking about for parts of Minnesota but clear for this part and the system is part of a stationary front that's just set up right over uh, central Iowa there and that's what's bringing these uh, rain chances for most of the week here and futurecast will continue to show those showers and possibly a rumble or two move off Tuesday morning here and as we look on there's that futurecast shows uh, maybe a thunderstorm or two up to the northwest and as we continue on mostly cloudy skies we could see some clearing Wednesday morning but overall uh, basically rainy and cloudy, pretty poopy for your forecast through Wednesday. As we look on for the estimated rainfall for uh, until Wednesday, we're looking at the heaviest totals around Davenport with about three-tenths of an inch, maybe two-tenths of an inch for Ottumwa, but it's painting a pretty dry picture for most of Ames, uh, for most of the central part of the state. And that's because these pop-up showers, you might get a little bit of rain here and there, but it's really not that much. And we definitely need that rain. We're about 
two inches below average for this time of year, so it will be nice to get some of that rain back. Lows tonight, we're looking to stay uh, pretty mild for most of the night with 48 in Davenport, maybe some 30s up in Mason City. Uh, overall, nice night, and as we look for highs tomorrow, we can see some nice 60s down in Ottumwa, 65 in Ottumwa, 62 for Des Moines, but you can see that that, def, uh, that uh, temperature gradient here with that warm air down to the south, that stationary front's keeping that cold air to the, to the north with 46 in Mason City, and that's what's bringing all the, that rain chances in for us. Uh, for Ames tonight, we're looking at 46 degrees for a low. Chance of showers tonight, east, east northeast winds at 5 to 13 miles an hour. And for tomorrow, some scattered showers and thunderstorms with that high of 55 degrees, and that wind will stay from the east keeping us uh, pretty mild for this time of year. Uh, and as we look for the, for the seven day, you see those uh, rain and thunderstorm chances for Wednesday and Thursday. And we get some clearing for Friday and Saturday. That'll be the nicest days of the week with uh, temperatures in the 60s. Uh, we get pretty warm on Sunday with 67, but overall a pretty nice forecast. And we're looking at maybe a chance of rain returning for Sunday and into Monday. All right, Brandon, thank you. Let's take an another look at tonight's trivia question. Uh, how many F5 and EF5 tornadoes have occurred in Iowa since 1950? A, three, B, two, C, six, or D, five? And the answer is C, Ooh. six. Really, six? Six My goodness. F5 tornadoes, I guess. Wow. Not a whole lot, but those are the, those are the big ones. Yeah, I think, I mean, I think it's unusual because I think that when I looked up this question, it had the other ones that had the same number or more is like Oklahoma, Kansas, and Alabama or something. So mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of weird that it'd be Iowa. I remember that from there. the Severe Storms Conference that Iowa was one of the only, it was weird because they were just in this random pocket of states that had a lot of tornadoes. Nebraska did, Alabama, or Alabama did, and Oklahoma, and then randomly Iowa. You'd think that Missouri would or... Well, hey, that's good for us uh, storm chasers and storm yeah. enthusiasts. We like to see those storms, but we don't like to see them that bad. That's oh, yeah. it's pretty extreme. No. It's and nothing like that coming anytime soon. Yeah. So. Well, what do you guys have planned for the week? I know it's going to be pretty pretty cloudy and dreary. You guys have any a rough week this week? or? No, just homework. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> homework, I have a math yeah. exam Friday, but other than that, I'm nothing special going yeah. on this week. Oh, you just hanging out. That's Regular good. Old stay week. indoors. Stay out of that rain. Yeah. yeah. Just another, another week. Well, that's all for uh, this edition of Size Eyes on the Skies. We'll be back again on Wednesday night. Hopefully, you join us then. Until then, um, have a good night. Yeah. <laughs> but did you know? Oh yeah, you weren't at the conference.